hey what's up guys let's learn today how to create a resume in microsoft word when we start exploring templates from online or maybe if you want to buy a any kind of a resume online charges would be high right and uh, office 365 or maybe any word document it's uh, available in our laptop now you can create your own resume hassle free right so this is some dummy data set i have in the data analyst field use some sort of resume okay and uh, due to this their resignation chances you know increased and they don't get a job okay now in this series what i am going to cover how you can increase your resume chances featured in the respective company wherever you are applying for right and uh, how you can create more visual appealing cv for when you are applying for the role of data analyst okay so without further ado let's get started this is a dummy data set i have and uh, i have opened the another word document where we are creating a cv altogether correct if in case you are new to this channel folks so please uh, subscribe my channel so let's get started and uh, when i click insert there is an option called table so this option we are going to use uh, more or less okay while adding these details so let me just see what data available i have i have name available address available email id and phone number right so for that what i will do I'll create a table like this cool and then I'll adjust this here I'm planning to add my photo so I'll click on insert picture device first we'll insert our photograph what type of photo we are going to insert it now you could see this uh, photograph in a rectangle form ensure that you are selecting crop crop image in basic shape circle okay and again crop now you could see this beautiful shape available we have right and if in case you know uh, background image is not blank then that time how you can go ahead with it i'll quickly show you that as well okay so let me arrange this first and then let me add a border for it so this is the border and i'll add a border like this cool so what i was saying if in case uh, you don't have a you know clear background image available so for that what you need to do insert image in this uh, portal so i'll give you the link of this website okay uh, what you need to do just type remove.bg okay and as soon as you click here upload image you can upload any of the image whatever you have and uh, see the background is automatically get removed okay hassle free cool so when i download this this is getting save and when i import this over here again so this is the image again it's in a vertical shape what i will do i'll change the basic shape likewise cool so this is how you can you know remove the background for your respective images uh, for now i've just selected this as a dummy data one uh, let's go ahead and uh, prior that you know what i will do i'll adjust the size of it and i'll keep it a design okay in design itself i'll select this this is the uh, bulletin functions which we want uh, in the later on stage but prior that you know i want to change the size of uh, this particular document so i'll click on the layout margins 
and then narrow so this will give me the ample amount of space to write my content and I'll adjust this like this cool so when we say photograph so this is our photograph and now we are again moving ahead this is a John Doe and I'll just keep it like this so this is the dummy name again uh, this is not a John Doe though okay just on a dummy one uh, I've just kept it to make you understand how it works and then address would be so and so cool so for that I'll just add this over here control X and then paste control X paste and then we'll keep the formatting same at the end we'll keep the entire uh, formatting uh, for the font size okay uh, similar fashion cool now the objective so this resume is uh, entirely for the data analyst folks okay whoever is from the fresher background uh, you know experience holder they can use this resume that's for sure I just copy this objective and uh, I'll paste it over here I'll say objective let's move ahead now I have education so I'll just select this copy it I will say education and uh, simply I'll just paste over here in this case uh, if in case you have a multiple education status folks what you need to do whatever you have recent uh, education qualification meaning if you completed a master's right so master's would be your first and the bachelor's would be bottom okay so and so forth cool so I selected this then I have only one this time so that's the reason I'll remove the bullet okay uh, and uh, I'll keep it this simple and this is how it looks like for me I'll remove this bold keep this bold 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 and bold because this is my headers right folks so that's the reason I've kept it a bold and this is what I will be arranging relevant coursework if you did it okay so I keep this aside for now skills I'll select okay prior that I need a experience experience is uh, matters in most folks okay whenever you are working with what type of company you work with yeah blah blah thing so I'll just copy this again and I paste it over here folks this is in a dummy one again uh, you can implement same as per your requirement right and uh, definitely you can you know copy and paste this uh, content if you already had a work on similar kind of an, a profile yeah you can definitely use that but uh, I would recommend you know whatever companies uh, relatively you are applying for ensure that you are you know checking a background online first and basis that you, know, you are customizing your resume accordingly cool so I'll just 
make this experience like this and uh, this is how I have adjusted so far and let me just see what I can do more cool so think this is done and this is look this looks fine for me uh, so I'll insert couple of more lines bottom the side because I have couple of more information to get added over here so research analyst again and uh, this is how I've implemented this analyst I'll change the date parallel copy it paste again I'll uh, make that bullet eyes because uh, I have the um, numerous uh, data for the research assistant okay folks so that's what I kept a simple for now analyzed and then this is 25th and then parallel I'll keep it as a 17th and this is analyzed cool so I would recommend you know this is the option called editor uh, keep this on on the right hand side okay so this will give you the editor score also very beautiful function by the Microsoft uh, Office 365 right and uh, which allows you what uh, type of spelling error grammars clarity you know uh, those kind of statement is available over here in editor function and basis the score you can improvise your uh, content which you are writing over here right in the CV and uh, accordingly you can apply it for the job why I'm recommending this uh, now the age of you know AI and machine learning right folks so now HR is no longer you know, scrutinizing one by one resume so whatever keywords are there in the CV so these are getting you know picked by the company I mean since specifically okay so I would recommend ensure that you know you are adding a appropriate keywords when you are applying for the new role okay so that's the reason you know use this editor function this is a very beautiful function which is again AI driven um, function by Microsoft 365 and we have a premium version of this uh, Microsoft 365 so we have a uh, lots of lots of um, benefits and the features from the Microsoft 365 okay coming on to the topic and then what we have did so far so we have added the photograph we have added name objective so object again I will keep objective as a bold uh, some sort of you know uh, description about it address email ID phone number and then experience I have added again in a similar fashion uh, like education if in case uh, you have a recent experience you can add that first okay and uh, Post that you know you can add the previous experience okay folks so I'll keep this as a 13 this is just a dummy one okay there is a no rush to it what need to be add what needs to be excluded okay so if I go down I've seen the couple of projects over here so you can add that projects as well that's completely fine mm, let me add that projects over here and then this is the projects for me I'll remove this and then I'll add a copy paste So I'm just you know adding this uh, data from there to here that's it nothing additionally I'm doing it over here for now but uh, whenever uh, if in case you know you are writing a CV and you need a any kind of a support okay happy to be there and uh, help you out folks yeah and then likewise I'll do it for this thing customer segmentation So I would recommend you know uh, when you are uh, drafting any CV right just uh, jot it down the pointers what you have did so far in uh, any of the notepad word okay and then uh, while designing that CV uh, ensure that you, know, you are watching this video and pausing this wherever you required uh, that what type of uh, functions I have utilized 
in MS Word and uh, how I'm doing it cool so this will help you and uh, saves your lots of time and energy and gives your uh, more and more chances increases right um, to get hired in the respective company or maybe your dream company wherever you are applying for cool this is then a project and achievement activities uh, so and so forth this is just a uh, additional extracurricular kind of things okay and uh, references if you want to add you can add that too but uh, let let me you know first add this okay and then we'll start work on that uh, designing part okay i'm just you know plotting the data from the um, ms word to another word which is our template nothing else i'm doing it right now simple this the education has been done now after education let me add skills in the skills we have different different skills available folks and uh, ensure that you know you are utilizing this uh, in an appropriate manner because these are the keywords for you folks okay so what type of experience you have you mentioned over there okay so ensure that you know those skills get captured somehow in your cv okay and that's that's really mandate yeah and this will give you the uh, glance how it works and uh, gives the bot whichever bot or the next company will be utilizing to get the cv uh, would be a great help for you to get hired yeah visualization and then i'll just remove this bullet cool and uh, Again, I'll select this. I'll click on in bullet. Good. This is what I have did so far. Analytical skill has been done, and the database. So I'll not explain you each part. What is the meaning of uh, analytical skill? What is the meaning of technical skill? This is a pretty much explainable, right? Because if in case you are in the same field and uh, we are, you know, making you understand about this uh, concept, right? This video will go longer and I don't want to waste your time because uh, the ultimate goal over here is uh, what we are getting out of it right so this is what the expectation and uh, this is what we are delivering to and now I'm just thinking aloud what uh, information I can insert where this additional information we can accommodate in the same place Cool. So I was thinking, um, let me add this achievements at the bottom and the activities in the left hand side. Left -hand side yeah. So I'll, what I will do, I'll just click this again. Uh, I'll just keep it over here, activities. And uh, this is what I will do, the copy. And uh, I'll paste it over here. Yeah. Now, again, I'll just remove this uh, entire bullet structure. dash participated in so and so and then volunteer cool so this is what I have uh, did so far folks uh, let me just check what I can do more so if I insert sorry I have inserted a row and I'll just remove this cool so let me just go in the achievement section and in the achievements I'll just keep this achievement like this and this is what I will be adding achievements and then this will be my 2014 uh, I've just did this and Analytics certification from data analytics and let me add one more thing, you know again discover talents offer you a free kind of a certification if in case you are Interested feel free to Add our name as well in your CV Apply for the exam and get the free certification folks. This is a recommendation from us Now I have did this so far. So let me just select this
and then see what we have did so far we have added the details whatever we need to add and now it's improvising slowly steadily correct uh, we'll try our level best to make that 100% but I know it is not really possible because some sort of uh, you know English like this data camp it's already there so what you will do I'll just add this at the add a dictionary okay we'll try our level best to make that cover 78 now it's a 78 and statistics uh, there are some space I have added so let me just ignore once 92 phone email cool so 92 I have did so far data oriented and ignore once cool so this is uh, wow great superb outstanding for me yeah <laughs> thanks and this is the again uh, editor score we met at least 100% let me close this because I will get the maximum screen out of it and now what I will do I'll select this entire stuff on the top header I'll click on this option okay or maybe I'll select this blue one okay so folks you know recommendation would be don't create a visual like uh, color coding okay uh, meaning keep formatting very standard okay don't go with the you know jazzy fonts jazzy color code okay just keep it very simple would be a great help because those um, jazzy one will use in the that time you know we can definitely use that uh, okay but for data analyst uh, visualization if you are applying for the data analyst uh, visualization position that time you can definitely use it but I would recommend you know it's a personal recommendation from my side okay don't use the jazzy color and the font okay which will uh, create a bad impact on the interviewer cool so let me just select this more color and uh, I would recommend keep it blue okay and then keep this font as a white and we'll select this okay here option and click here so we can move this and we can keep this as a center now again we'll click over here picture format in this we'll increase the weight again and again once again we'll uh, change the color code of uh, background cool. so this is how it will look like and uh, you can do this as well okay I'll select this uh, the address section and then I'll select this and then again I'll click on the table just scroll it up okay from the mouse and then uh, just select this plain blue color cool so this is how it looks like and uh, if in case you know you are not convinced with the font what you can do go to the design section there are ample amount of fonts available you can check that again it's in a structured one and uh, appropriate spaces available so you can you know play around it and just check what fits and suits basis the um, data sets which you have applied already yeah so for me let me just select the good one and I'll select this this is how I have implemented this and let me just change this name right instead of that uh, John Doe I'll just keep this name this is how I've created the CV and uh, this is the technical skills analytical skills you can add and delete uh, skills as per your requirement folks that's completely fine um, this is the white space which I'm seeing it over here I'm thinking aloud what I can do it um, more better out of it right so for that um, I was thinking 
instead of uh, directly creating that I'll just X and then paste it over here and then what I will do I'll just remove this and I paste over here cool let's uh, see how it looks like or maybe what I can do uh, I'll keep this as a as a section okay uh, I've just did a control Z and uh, checking the how you know how this ultimate color code will be look like and uh, let me just see if I can change any other color code over here just select this again color cool. so in the this section because these are the two colors are integrating right so I'm thinking on those line if I can create this because it's for me it's in a combining both right so but I think low contrast it looks fine so I'll keep this as same color cool so you need to think on uh, different different angles uh, whenever you are working on this line folks okay and uh, last thing and uh, if in case you want to add otherwise that's completely fine experience I'll click layout option and I'll uh, split cell in a two column cool so now what now I'll just remove this I'll click on the control X press it okay and then uh, click on insert icon it takes some time to load and I would recommend you no know, use the internal icons only okay don't go online and download PNG file and convert it because some sort of an you know, icons may have you know um, copyright segment as well so that's what business and uh, experience would be keep this Control X, paste, and then just keep it small, and then I'll keep this as a project. Again, for this project, table design, layout, split cell, column two, so and so forth. So pro projects insert again icon. I click on the icon section uh, projects again I'll type as a business because in business section uh, we can see the letter to the office or maybe see related icons most so that's what I intentionally selecting that Self forecasting and then achievement. This is my achievements, and I'll select this awards. You can directly insert that, but I would recommend you know always use a table formatting, okay, because this really helps. Whenever we are changing that in near future, right? That time this really helps. This is what done, and then at the end, best regards. You know, one day seven zero two one seven five two six, and then this is my number. Cool. So this is what my number I have added. Uh, you can add your own number because right now I'm creating this video, so I don't want to share my number. So that's the reason I've just kept it as a XX. You can add your own number. Cool. Uh, if in case uh, you have a biography about you, right, uh, or maybe people you want people to you know reach out to you, you can add your LinkedIn profile as well, right? Uh, like this.
this is what you can add your own LinkedIn profile as well over here and um, best regards instead just regards that's fine cool so this is how it looks like so at the time of interview you know you can just share this across but prior that let me show you uh, how we can you know modify this graphics and uh, I'll give this blue blue and then at the end just select this table design this is border no border wow so boom you done with your amazing job of CV creation and oops my name got cut automatically so this is what you completed with your CV creation activity for um, data analyst position folks you can you know uh, use this as a template for yourself okay uh, you can definitely request for me or uh, just comment in below section I'll definitely provide you the template okay if needed uh, in near future if in case you are specifically looking out for any kind of an uh, uh, okay so let me just show you this as well okay now whenever we send this CV to our respect to companies okay wherever you are applying for that time ensure that you, know, you are converting this MS talk into the uh, PDF now how to convert that click on the file export option create PDF XPS document create a PDF and then save it as a download section publish as soon as you hit publish button you will see this document will automatically open when you just click on that open document option this is how it look like so this is how it looks like and this is the PDF one Adobe Acrobat powered by and now you can you know share this across with your uh, folks wherever you want to right and uh, apply for the open position job okay so this is how we have created a beautiful uh, CV folks okay if in case you are interested uh, to know more about how to write a finance resume how to write a graphic designer resume how to write a programmer resume so on and so forth you know I'm happy to support you are looking out for a resume okay I'll create a video series for you guys and you can definitely use that thanks for watching once again please support my channel and have a great day ahead